hello so we are in the fe mmr software this is a free software which you can download from their website so you can see uh, i am using fe mm 4.2 so to create a new file i'll just create file new and it will ask what type of file i want so since we are trying to design a capacitor we will select electrostatic problem and click ok now um, you will just go straight on and create a very simple uh, capacitor for demonstration so we have selected a dot here so you can either click or press the tab button on your keyboard to open up uh, points x and y coordinates so for simplicity i will just click four points i will purposely select uh, non-uniform points right now what i will do is i will draw two line segments so you click on the line segment now you left click like the normal click on the dot and you see a line segment will be created similarly click on this dot and the other dot another line segment will be created okay so the plates of the capacitor is ready now we need to create the outer domain that is the pml or the outer boundary layer or you can say the universe of the system where the outer layer is just far away from the capacitor so that it does not influence the capacitance so i'll click here and in the layer i'll just write three and radius uh, maybe six and click ok now uh, you see you have a circle and inside that we have the capacitor right so what is the next step next uh, we'll go to properties click on materials and we will click on add property and here we'll write air and then click ok so we have added air as a material now that material is added in the system but we have not told the software where is the air domain so we'll click on this green circle click it here just right click on this button and you see it will glow as red and press space bar here select air and then click ok so basically all the inside region is air including the space between the capacitor so we'll add conductors now in the conductor we'll click on add property and here we'll write let's say positive plate and it will be one volt we'll again add a new property let ground and prescribe volt is zero volt we'll click ok and then click ok so we have two boundary conditions now go again to the line segment right click on the line segment and click on space i mean the space button on your keyboard and in the conductor section select the positive plate click ok similarly right click on the other plate press the space bar in the conductor click on ground and select ok so we have set up the boundary condition of the capacitor we have set up the air so we are almost done so our model is almost set up now we'll try to create the mesh as we do in the other softwares also so we'll click on mesh and then click on create mesh now uh, it will ask the file must be saved so i'll click on file save and we'll rename this to
capacitor and click save now go on to mesh and click on create mesh so the software pops up we have 5859 nodes and we have our mesh now the next step is you go on to here that is uh, the simulation run button and then you click on view results so here is the result for the simulation you see that the plot actually represents the uh, voltage there are different uh, plots which you can do so the density plot um, contour plot vector plot uh, show mesh uh, it will also show the mesh so if you want to hide the points it will hide the point it will only show the lines so all these things um you'll get in the software also if you want to get the value at a particular point you can do that to do that uh, go on to view click on point props so it will show the details of the model now when you click somewhere it will show up the details of the coordinate the potential the displacement field the electric field magnitude the electric field x and y component and all the important details that you will need on an electrostatic problem this is very handy so as you click on different point you will get the value of the result now what more can we do so if i select the line tool and right click between the two plate we have a line now if i click on this graph button it will ask what i want to plot so let's say i want to plot the electric field intensity and i'll click ok so you can see that i have the plot of the electric field intensity Similarly, I'll go back to this tab and again click on plot and I want to plot the voltage. You see, I have the voltage that it starts from 1 and comes back close to 0 because the other plate was at 0. So this is very useful and uh, you can press the escape button to remove the line. So I'll do one more. I'll click here and click here. I'll just right click at two point and click on the voltage I'll click OK so you can see it goes to 1 that is the one plate and then this is inside dielectric 0 and then it jumps back again so this is very easy and a free tool to simulate the model which you are working this is a very useful software and I thought uh, in the course on the capacitor I'll use um, FEMM so that you guys also know uh, how useful this software is thanks for watching and if you like this video do support uh, my work you can subscribe to this channel and check out the different courses in the description thank you